Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Best Advice Ever channel where the best advice is no advice but we might get some wisdom. Now this is a lovely plant here that has been rescued by my brother from uh, the mowing things. Now he's going to talk about this plant. Talk JD. Well I don't know. Uh, this is some random thing that I got from the grocery store last year or two years ago and it's supposed to die back to the ground and come back. Well if you look down here, you can see the old growth where it kept on getting mowed down. And I thought it was dead. And about two months ago, I saw a couple little leaves. So I dug it up to save it. Mm -hmm. And it is literally about to bloom before it goes dormant. Aww. And it's precious. It is. Ooh, talk about Henry here. Well, this was a dwarf yopon holly that's, that was in the home before my parents moved in and you can see the gnarly branches it was literally up to here and it had nothing down below and it was just a little top on it and it was ugly 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 so i went and i pruned every leaf off of it every single one and i pruned a little ends by by the nodes you can see the nodes i pruned right close to the nodes to force the growth out in certain spots and over a couple of years, I've, I've pruned this back to basically a topiary. Yeah. So I've got little, little balls coming out, mm -hmm. little balls of growth. And I, I left the one on the ground, but, uh, people, people pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy forms like this from, from the nursery. And I, and I, I made it basically from a quote unquote trash plant. I mean, <laughs> most people would have just dug it out. Yeah. I tried with that one over there, it was the same, but no growth came out on top over here. Oh, one. this guy. Yep. Okay. This is the other Yopon. And then I thought, well, I'll just saw it down to here and let it have a be a two ball topiary. But as you can see, it's rotten. It's just rotting here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut that down to the ground and we'll just have a nice little holly shrub, a nice little globe here. Yeah. And what's this guy? That is called Winter Creeper. Also, uh, prostrate Euonymus, and it is struggling. It's been here for three years. It should be three feet wide by now. Mm -hmm. And it's the soil here. It's all rocks and clay, and it's yeah. dry shade. This, this big live oak sucks up all the nutrients from everything here. Mm-hmm. And the roots from the holly, <clears throat> and mm -hmm. so I've got to I've got to move it out to a to a place that, that gets dappled sun and, yeah. and give it some good soil. I've got three of them in here. Okay. This is a Carex, which is a little. Um, I think it's a native, but anyway, it's a it's a variegated style of grass that's a semi evergreen and it loves the shade. Look, look at all this new growth coming in. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it should be about three times bigger than that by now too. But this 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 oak tree is not doing so hot yeah. with everything. Well, let's look at the top of the oak tree. It's it's a real it's a real oh. whatever. But we All love these... you. We love you, oak tree. Yeah, you're fabulous. Yeah, they're okay. they're 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 great habitat for the birds. But that's that's about it. There you go. And they, and they give us oxygen, remember? Yeah, oxygen and yeah. shade. Which there you is go. Fun here. And then what about this guy? That's a Japanese plum you. Mm hmm. It's very pretty. I don't know if it's a taxis. I think it's a taxis. But this is a really slow growing evergreen. It's a conifer. Mm hmm. And um, you can see all the, all the new growth that's coming in on it. it it's not really getting enough sun. And so I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna okay. move it out to here where it can get some get some morning sun and some dappled afternoon sun. Yeah. Both of those. There you go. And the the, the one in the middle, this is a um, a Jap everything I have has Japanese in the name. I love <laughs> I love Japanese flowers and plants, but this is Aww. a let's see what is that? It's a it's a, it's a Japanese paper plant is the common mm -hmm. name, but it's evergreen. Okay. So it has really big broad leaves. It blooms mm -hmm. in the in the late winter. These weird like 
alien balls that come up off the top. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's it's just beautiful. Aww. So I'm gonna put one on either side of this and make a little hedge, and it'll okay. It'll get as tall as the as the steps at some point. Okay. Now this guy, the uh, the planter. Whose idea was that? Oh, uh, that is a Talavera Mexican um, hand-painted pot. That is very pretty. Talavera is, and they're all different. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's but it's kilned and fired in in Mexico, and there's this <clears throat> this company down there that all they do is just fire and and, and hand paint pottery and little animals mm -hmm. and bird bats and stuff and they're and they're, and they're they're all in the unique and they're super uh super expensive mm -hmm. but i got that on sale and there that was go. that was one of mom's christmas gifts last year Aww. and the plants in it all mm -hmm. had to be cut back to the to the ground because the the heat here in the summer mm -hmm pretty much made everything crispy critters yeah so i i just did that and we'll have vines coming out here and those um uh, these caladiums are are starting to push new growth here because it's cooled down mm -hmm. and then i've got some creeping jenny here that is it, it'll, it'll it'll come out quick yeah and that'll that'll cover the pot and then in, in the winter time i'm going to fill it up with pansies and put it down at the bottom of the step okay yeah all right so now let's go to this area this is a little area let's not get license plates in there okay here we go we're good so this lovely beauty what is that that is a canna mm -hmm. and they they are something they need a lot of food a lot of sun a lot of water and they will take over your life mm -hmm. in this area because they 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 come back and they spread mm -hmm. this came from three tiny bulbs that i that i saved um two years ago or whenever mm -hmm. um this is this is marketed as a as a as an annual here <clears throat> but if they're planted deep enough in the ground and they and they mm -hmm. get plenty of mulch on the top they they will come back the next year okay but i always just dig them up and cut the cut the stems off a few inches above and let them dry and then put them in a box okay and then plant them in the in the spring but okay there you go if this i mean all of this is babies oh every one of these is a baby with its own bulb mm -hmm. in the soil, mm -hmm. and, the, and 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 each one of those bulbs has has the energy to push up a brand new plant next year. So I I could dry those th this year and divide them mm -hmm. and fill out a bed probably half this size by next year. Okay, that's. I nice. don't think I want to. I think okay. I want to keep it in a container. I don't want it mm -hmm. taken over because that, that that looks messy. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. You have a jungle coming out, right? Yeah. And then you don't have enough light for all of them, so. All right, so what about these lovely guys? Yeah, this is just some, some annual I picked up at Walmart because whatever, but it has these little peachy orange blooms. I think it's called a firecracker plant. Huh? Right. Very it, it's, pretty. Yeah, it's not my favorite. And Ooh. then I just, I just made this bed this year. This is mm -hmm. uh, the rose bed. But these are, uh, I think these are knockout roses. Um, they're super small because this is probably the, the sixth or seventh flush of blooms they've put out this year. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. And they're not getting enough sun right now because this is the, the north side of the property and the, the, sh the trees are shading them. Yeah. But um, for, for, for first year, just the fact that they're still alive is is amazing because yeah. uh, it, here it's best to plant shrubs in in the fall or or even in the winter time when they're dormant. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna put a pause on that. All right, everyone, this is my brother JD. What's Hello. up, bro? How you doing? Howdy. All right, so that's our ten minutes for our best advice ever. So one of the things you want to do in survival land is, you know, 
get some life, get some plants, get someone who knows what they're doing, and it'll be great. Peace out. Live your best lives. Bye.